my department this is the my url of my department over there i need to punch in the provided over the l lab server of our it uh, okay hold on let me log in As soon as I will provide my the user ID and password in the for each authentication page. After that, I just click on the OTP or SMS on the sent OS. That means a OTP will receive on my registered mobile number, uh, which is registered on my email user ID. After that, I have to write down the my. <coughs> OTP over there. If I click on the show OTP, it will provide me the OTP over there. And don't ask me on for the device. It will never go through the OTP authentication in the successive login throughout the day. That means you have to only provide your user ID and password that it will directly redirect to our login page or home page of eOPS. Uh, let me provide my the uh, OTP validate and I just as I just click on the next page it will directly log in to my e office over there okay then the, a welcome screen will appear just like over there it's a look and feel has been changed as compared to the previous version of e office that means we are talking about the e file 7 version over there is some customized page or a creamy uh, look and feel have been applied in the version of the 7 over here let us discuss about the new feature mapped in our dashboard page in the left hand side just we uh, click on our this is a, the user information that means name and designation after that a home page will just appear uh, just below the profile page of the e office user after that it will be uh, mapped through the e file kms mail and other services over there a bundle of services will appear in the other services likewise email diarization in the previous version if we uh, just uh, take a look over there that means email direction a new uh, icon tab of, are appearing on the previous version but in the newly launched e file 7 version the email direction and mis report also mapped under the other services uh, module over here we can just uh, take a look email direction pims that means in newly version the emd that means employee master detail has been renamed with pims personal information management system and just below the uh, pims we also uh, browse the information about the mis report which is basically used to get the detail about the E file, E receipt, pendency, creation, forwarding, like all kind of receipts can be uh, <coughs> derived from the MS report application. Just below that, application management system is also uh, showing uh, just below the MS report. Application management system is basically used uh, to provide the role to the user while creating a user. That means a actually eofic is a role based application that means uh, a user a different user can be provided the different role based based upon designation and work functionality uh, in the department uh, suppose a user have only access to write down the e office uh, e office uh, that means noting drafting attaching okay that we have to provide only the 
role officer over there if the user have the power to approve the draft agenda like any kind of approval uh, which can be based upon the draft approval role has to be provided to the user so that he can perform his activity likewise he can approve the draft and is signing facility also available that means e sign dsc sign likewise all of the information all of the uh, role can be provided through the application management system over there a new lit uh, feature is also uh, enable in the e file 7 version that means the task and to do list uh, actually task is enabled uh, to the user uh, so that he can uh, trace or he can routine up his daily task that means what have to do in throughout the day or what kind of action he has uh, what kind of action he can perform um, or what are the important file or receipt he has to clear throughout the day he can easily list up in these task list to do list and task uh, actually we also provide the to do list in same as the sticky notes over there we can summarize our daily or the list of activity which have to clear or which have to perform uh, throughout the day we can list up all the activity in the to do list and the notes also is similar to uh, keep update that means the, what are the activity we can uh, we have to perform uh, after that uh, we can also strike through the one by one task which we have created uh, initial time of our login let's uh, discuss about the e file over there e file or e receipt notification will be displayed over there uh, if i will jump to the notes and dashboard over there we can, i can or user can create easily notes by clicking on simple plus button over there if we click on the plus button plus button over there we can simply create a notes to ourselves that means uh, we can also uh, create a some kind of urgency of file or any kind of priority a task have to be to mark over there to us so that we can uh, perform it uh, as per the specified time okay uh, let's create a dummy notes over there uh, that means we can also create over a some kind of file uh, we also um, because the uh, salary related matter okay uh, just I click on the save button. A note over there has been displayed or list up in the note section through which we can also share it or add it or delete. If I click on this option, it will maximize. And uh, when I click on a uh, button like share or delete, that means it will refresh the uh, exact status of the notes window over there as we can see over there a, our name of user which are deployed in our uh, section or division or cell we can also see over there the number of user which are deployed in our same section that means this is the username this is our another username which is currently working in our section and also here we can see or throughout the list which are displayed in our team member uh, which are uh, list up in our the team tab over there we can easily 
uh, just point out the mouse on a team member through which we can also uh, some kind of information say that means a video chat or mail or any kind of message we want to send our teammate or any kind of uh, task assign mostly the task assigned option is uh, used by the superior authority so that he can easily assign to the his teammate uh, some kind of urgency or any kind of notification or information you would like to share with teammate simply just point out the username if we want to any uh, assign to any kind of task or to our team member we have to simply point out the mouse point over the username after that it pop up displayed over and so that uh, in the respective of the pop up we can easily create a video meet mail matches like in these kind of activity that means if we want to like to uh, assign a task to the manjit kumar just simply click on point out the name of manjit kumar and select the appropriate option that means assign task we can assign task by giving the title description and date as well that means we can also select the date from the drop down list from today to future date we can not assign any kind of task in the past date but we can assign a task to user or our team member by keeping in the mind that means the present date to the future date okay that means today is the 15 of september that means it 15 uh, of september will be visible that means if we uh, want to assign a task that means the task has been executed by the two dates are for tomorrow we have to select the appropriate date from the calendar over there and the username will be displayed over there and if we want to change the username from the drop down list we can also select the user from the our team member list that means if we want to select a user over there uh, we also had to be created a title or description which are mandatory field in respect to the signing a task to our team member another uh, feature is the uh, over here over here a window we connect uh, option that means a directory vc room we connect event and my contact or group if we click on the directory option over there the directory option is uh, for working similar uh, in the previous version as well if we click on the directory that means it will provide a simple look and feel over there we can search any user information like email mobile number code that means the basic search if we click on uh, any kind of uh, over there is just simply type the name of user we have to write down over the three initial alphabet only if we are not familiar with the full name of the user that we can provide the input by providing our uh, pro in uh, in our search input that means it only three alphabet are mandatory in respect to the providing and uh, searching of the user detail and providing the name and just click on the submit button a no alphabet that means which containing the combination of the input providing search criteria a list of user will be displayed over there that means a yogesh yogesh you guys like this kind of information can be displayed over there uh let me show you that means we have provided only the yogesh name only over there but it is list up all detail which have the combination of the alphabet that means yogesh and uh, another second name is atri like this this kind of information can be easily provided over there over here we can also provide relative information about the user that means designation department email id mobile number or any kind of info information about the intercom etc will be uh, listed up over there in our based upon our input search criteria okay uh, let's talk about the another search field over there first of all we need to select the directory <laughs> that means the basic search browse by index 
that means if we select only the alphabet of a username that means g the it will be displayed the all the user which are uh, which have the initial alphabet in their name as g advanced search if i click on the g then it will display all the information of the user which have the initial alphabet g likewise this information can be listed up if i go to the advanced search that means the search criteria just expanded in compare of the basic and browse by index name is mandatory if we and uh, likewise if you want to search any kind of specific user that means let me type the name name will be the employee code if we have the employee code of a particular user we have to write down over there otherwise let, let it blank or uh, if we have any kind of email id we have also can, uh, can provide the email id of the particular user which are, we are going to search apart from that we can also select by designation that means what is the designation of a recipient user if we provide uh, uh, the designation that means the input in our input field then may output field will match the both criteria manjeet and designation only that means it is the accurate match uh, accurate way to select the user rather than the bunch of user unwanted user which are list up in our output uh, uh, output screen and if we also can search a user by the department these are the department which are list up in my instance that means agriculture archive department like was cm office command area commissioner karnal rohtak gurugram faridabad ambala likewise all of the department are list up over there that means in all the department the u e office has been implemented over all of uh, the department if you browse or scroll down the mouse over there we can see the multiple department are using the e office in that means usbn usbn local body welfare women and child department all of the town and country planning tourism technical these are all the department in which e office is implemented they and all the user are using the e office irrespective of their physical scenario that means all of departments have been moved to the electronic mode department and organization uh, all of their uh, ou has been list up over there based upon our selected department uh, let me select over the prison department that means the all of the department over there has been list up uh, let me check the Uh, another department uh, called the uh, just hold on over there we can uh, supply a department name over there if i click on the submit button the department uh, from the prison department in manjeet name of all user has been uh, displayed on our screen search by contact number we can also search uh, by user by providing their mobile number and click on the submit button these are the contact directory and we can also create a meeting through the vc room and quick connect event all of these are uh, information are easily accessible uh, okay let come to the central part of our e office uh, the part which is comes into the notice board that means all the notices are displayed over here which uh, circular document or notification has been published through our department all of the list, num, list of the document have been list up over there and these are the to do list 
which uh, myself has created about the beginning of the day that means what are the priority tasks which i need to perform throughout the day likewise i created a to do list that means uh, the, this is the title of the task which i need to perform based upon i need to create task that means e shine okay all of these are can be easily accessed once the action has been performed uh, through the our task we can easily click on the delete button the to do list task has been removed from our dashboard just uh, i clicked on the delete button that means the task which uh, already created by me has been removed from the to do list okay uh, let's take a look over the status option as well this is the bg status if i click on the bg status that means over my name here that means i am logged in e office as a username this and a yell uh, green option is uh, showing over there that means i am going to logged in similarly if all our team member or one of our team member is logged in a green tick will be visible that it is indicating that the user is currently logged in our e office okay if i clicked on the status task bg that means the status of my e office account has been set as per my selected tab from the status that means over here it is visible now it is currently changed from green to bg as i clicked on the bg status and turn it on back to this is uh, default setting let me click on the available the setting over a bg mark will be removed as soon as i can select the available option over there and why this is need uh, need to create that means some uh, urgent meeting or some any kind of this important discussion is going on in my room that means i click on the set uh, available uh, set mark as a bg uh, that means uh, uh, based upon that uh, no one uh, or our team member is can easily understand that means the sir is actually currently occupying or uh, some uh, any kind of urgency is going on that's why sir is set their status as a bg now click on the available button my status will reflect as soon as i click on the available option over here it will uh, take a bit time to refresh of the page okay now again it's available that means i can easily meet our team member if they have any kind of urgent discussion or normal discussion like uh, they can easily perform any kind of activity that means meeting if uh, any kind of meeting is going over in my room we can also set the meeting uh, when i click on the meeting that means a timer will be available that means how much how many uh, minutes it will take to meeting i click on take break click on the take break a timer will be reflected as i clicked on the meeting option but instead of the having the bg and what is the uh, difference between status over bg and meeting in when we clicked on the meeting that means in our active status there is no change in the status but a, only a timer will be reflected over on my screen that means our team member it will doesn't any kind of reflect any kind of changes only a timer will be screen uh, screening that okay if i click when uh, i get back to work i am ready that means i click on the resume button that means our status in a meeting okay got it in this in meeting as i select the um, um, option in the meeting it will also reflected same as on our e office status as i click on the resume button that means i am available or free and that means indicating that meeting is, has been over 
and uh, same uh, also has been changes in uh, reflect on our my eop status as well so that our colleague can easily understand that means meeting has been over similar way we can also set a tea break as well if we click on the tea break yeah, my status as it will be same reflected on my eop account as well that it will be refreshed over there it will take a bit more time as expected uh, tea break when i click on the tea break it will also ask for how much time you required it will be the customizable the user can easily identify or provide the input in the minute that means 8 minutes i need to take a break tea break for 8 minutes similar way a timer will be reflected on the user screen uh, as the timer is going to decrease the count down start from the 8 minutes whatever the time has been set by me while taking the break and same has been also it is also working in the previous status as well likewise in a meeting or in a busy status it will also reflect on my status as well over here a t break it will take a bit longer time to reflect on our in my status okay similar way just take a look over there in a t break will status reflect on my account so that our colleague can easily understand what is the boss is going on what the boss is doing at present that means in a t break the same has been reflected respective uh, whatever the status i am going to set in my e office account just click on the resume button to vanish or to mark as available that means my t break has been over now the status in a t break t break will also be refreshed as a available it is very easy or quite clear understanding that means we can also set our status to provide all the information rather than any kind of message providing to our team member that means i am t break lunch break like okay over there this is our home page this is a little bit description about the e file 7 version which is quite easy user familiar and in respective of the previous version we can also set our respective status like that our team member can also be easily came to know what my depending on my status on the e office okay similar way me e office is actually a lost in the two version based upon the user demand that means e office is comes into the premium version and another one is the e office in light version Uh, if i will discuss about the premium version and the light version what are the differences in premium version and the light version if we talk about firstly we talk about the premium version over there we have only the limited access of the module that means we are only using e file kms okay this uh, is in the light version if we are talking about the premium version that means over there e file kms and a calendar option also integrated in the premium version respective of that we have came to know the e leave version e tour version in the premium version but most of the state government have their different policies or respective of the center the premium version is mostly 
implemented in the central central government or all the ministries which comes under the central government because the all leave policy ltc policy like all kind of similar thing are in same in the central as compared to the state government as the state government policies to their employees deviate uh, state to state that means some of the state government have the different leave policies of uh, respective of the central government ltc policies likewise that's why the state government is willing to adopt the light version only okay this is the uh, talk about the e office if i will discuss about this about the security of the e office actually uh, while we are trying to log in uh, logged in e office we must have a valid user id and password after matching the user id uh, and password through the ldap server uh, we can easily access the our e office account that is actually a light uh, weight access protocol through which Uh, in a directory all the user id and password are stored uh, based upon the user id and password already stored in the ldap server user have uh, server have to map the in input provided by the user while uh, trying to log in if the user id and password are match then the ldap server is allow user to access his or her respective account in terms of the authentication ldap server actually can store easily user id password uh, email id mobile number like these kind of uh, basic information okay uh, it's about more respective of from that e office is only accessible through the nkn or uh, nick network that means is highly secure if we want to access the e office from apart from that the nick net or nk network uh, user must have uh, provide their vpn credential uh, through the while e office is accessing uh, by using the vpn that means it enhance the security of the e office okay this is uh, the just brief introduction about the e office if you have any kind of confusion or any kind of query please uh, do let me through the comment i will try to get back to you as soon as possible uh, the, let's proceed further how the e office is working what are the modules sub module in e office which are bundled up in the light version actually we are mostly talk about the light version and the training will include also the user and training and as well as in the local admin training first of all uh, our primary focus is to train the user how they can use or how they can use the e office through this optimum level to st get start uh, in the e office let's start from the e file which our is the basic necessity in terms of the e office let's just click on the e file uh, tab which is bundled in the left hand panel over there a default view is displayed on our screen that means the default uh, view is opened in our e file inbox by default if we want to switch the receipt or dashboard or e sign probably we just need to select the appropriate option over there before trying to working or start working on the e file we need to uh, stand the working procedure 
about the e receipt e receipt means dark or inward correspondence the document which we received outside our department or uh, uh, third party then they can address our department by respecting their information or issue any kind of acknowledgement which we have been marked to our department all of these kind of activity has been started from the receipt part for creation of the receipt we just need click on the receipt part and we have to select the respective option that means the e office form of letter is very simple and easy to understand what does the create mean what does the inbox stands for and what is the meaning of the stand sent also the advance search that means advance search uh, it means we are searching any kind of document or receipt or doc a sent means it will display our the how many document we have uh, been already sent from my account okay uh, inbox inbox means the how many document are existing in my inbox and similarly uh, we can just click on the create create electronics okay let me uh, highlight the point what does mean the electronics means if we are uh, adopting the e office that means if we uh, we are switching to the electronic mode that means e office is comes with the two version electronics and physical some of the department which have the sensitive data or sensitive information they are adopting the office but they are working through the physical mode only just they uh, provide the information likewise computer number like that this kind of information and they forward their receipt or document or any kind of file in the physical mode they are not uh, using the e office because the data is very sensitive that's why they are using the physical mode if we are talking about the paperless mode we can use the electronics mode if i click on the create from the electronics the e office is in the hybrid mode hybrid mode means matlab hybrid me hybrid me mode means that we can perform the activity in electronic mode as well as in physical mode okay uh, if i uh, the window screen will appear over here is simply while select the option create that means we are going to diary or creating a document which have been received from uh, from outside to our department okay these are the some basic kind of information we have to provide irrespective of the document most of the time a document is an uh, document is kept inside the envelope and all the sender detail are marked on the envelope so for the respective while creating the document we have just provide the basic information which are lying on envelope that means the diary date it is automatically printed that means the working day the date on which we are creating the document it is printed it cannot be edited and form of communication form of communication means that means the document uh, nature the document which we receive what type of document actually is that means documentation circular cabinet any kind of document acknowledge bills like that this kind of their respective nature of document we have to select uh, most of the time we select the latter document language the so language of the document which we receive we have to select their respective language over there hindi english punjabi urdu if these uh, language can be edited by the local admin in english hindi punjabi urdu like these kind of uh, language can be mapped by the back end by the, uh, using the power of the local admin these can be edited based upon the word nature of document so select the click on next receive date 
the document on which date it is received by the department we have to select it will be the present or past date it cannot be the future date document received on the 9th of october and we are going to diary it in the 15th of october that will diary date and receive date which can be equal or date later date is. while we are receiving a document a date will be mentioned on the document we have to provide the date which are bearing on the document that means if we select the document is document uh, 9 let reference number a document which we are receiving from outside already have a document reference number we have to provide the correct uh, document reference number over there so if we select a, some kind of information likewise already have been marked in the as a reference number delivery mode that means the how the document is received that means by email by hand by post by courier the document how we received or some time of uh, document which we are initiating from the department end in that case we have to select the self generated option over there if we are initiating the document from the department end that means some kind of uh, internal activity we have to select the self generated otherwise we have to select the appropriate mode of channel to the document which been received by the department by hand the diary and dispatch uh, section is mainly assigned to registering or to uploading the document mode number if any kind of some special kind of speed post or by courier there is a number is marked on over there we have to write down the mode number as well and sender type sender type who is uh, sending the document if it is blank that means you can also it can be edited in vip mode that means there are some of the important ministry which are listed up in the vip tab if we we also want to add any kind of important ministry over there it can be mapped by the by using the power of local admin through the master data management that means mdm these are the ministry or department if we click select on the vip that means a flag will be automatically assigned to the document president office no other department is mentioned over there if we click on the chairman of upsc let's see that no it will not displayed over here if we select the vip nature that means the ministry which we are receiving the document only the department are showing uh, under this ministry department tab which are list up on that particular ministry okay now we are select the ministry department level over there if we write down the or any kind of nature i have to select the and these are the list up in respect to the document which we received through the speed post by mail or by courier we have just provide the initial alphabet regarding our search criteria that means department of search it means over here we have to provide the sender name that means who is sent the document to department just click on the dummy name what are what is the designation and what does it mean address book i will explain you just after completion of the diary designation is 
he as a deputy secretary. Okay. And organization name, we can also type the organization name. That means Department of Space under the Department of Space, a, another department is also existing. That means, for example, we take the uh, consider the chemical and fertilizer. That means the department which is underlying the ministry. We have to select over there a respective department under which ministry we are going to register the document. That means the file number and email ID are not mandatory. But if these information are lying on the document or dark, we have to provide the maximum detail as much we can. Because in the future references, why we search any kind of uh, any registered document, it will be beneficial for us. Have to provide the information like mobile number and email id email id it can be any domain that means gmail yahoo hotmail any kind of domain of email id we can register over there okay let me just check the address address is mandatory in respect to address we can select the address from this document has been marked state country city we are providing the information the sender of document In code, landline number, fax number, if any kind of information are also, we can also provide the information. Now just click on the add to address book. If we are receiving a document from the department, department of space, that means we are going to add to address book. Means for the future of uh, registering of the document, it will automatically catch out the detail from our address book for self and for section. If we talk about the previous version, the add to address book is only working for the creator of the document. That means who is registering the document, who is uploading the doc, only for that. But in the newly version, if we select the section, that means the add to address book will also sync or synchronize with all the employees for my section. I think that means if we, in uh, my section uh, the four employees are working, that means the add to address book will work all the four employees for my section. Main category, that means the category of document. What kind of document is actually court case, complaint, audit matter, appropriate, ACR, uh, like this, court someone. We have to select the a respective document over there. If we are mm, with confusion about the nature of the document which we are going to register, in that case, we select the uh, option general. Most of the document are uh, belong to the general category. It is not mandatory because it uh, has been the red star mark. That means. All the document, all the tab, all the option which are marked by the red star are mandatory 
to fill up the detail irrespective of, uh, respective of the dating of a document subject is mandatory we have to write down the same subject which is uh, right on our doc or document i am assuming that the document has a testing about the diary of document let's click on this after that and closer and closer means the, uh, if any kind of electronic gadgets book hard drive pen drive like these kind of additional object are also pertaining to particular document which we are going to register we have to mention the name likewise pen drive or any book likewise additional object information we also provide over there that means next option we are uh, over here is personalized acknowledgement that means we are registering the document also providing the acknowledgement to the sender of the document over there three option are available generate that means a computer number is generated and the document document will be reflected in our the received part of the completed option generate and send generate and send that means a document will be generated and also reflected to the send screen of the e office account generate and copy that means a document uh, will be created or a computer number is assigned to our document and the copy that means the respective detail of all the pre filled metadata field are also pre filled in case if we select the generate and copy over there let's take a look over there it's the important part that means upload document up to 20 mb only pdf that means the document which we are going to upload over here is only the pdf format only okay first of all the document which we receive means uh, that do document have to scan by keeping the 100 or 150 dpi of our scanner because if we keep the 100 or 100 dpi properties of the scanner it will less in the space as compare to if we increase the dpi uh set as 400 500 okay the size of document is matter over here if we keep 100 or uh, 150 dpi that means the scanned document quality is quite efficient or easily readable also try we keep in mind while uh, scanning of the document keep the dpi as low as possible by maintaining the quality or pixel of the font that means if we can easily read the content of document we have to keep both in our mind while we are scanning the document now once the document is scanned and the save in the pdf format in our destination folder we have to select any uh, the scanned document by clicking on the upload folder while we click on the upload folder we have to browse the path where the where we reach where we keep the scanned document okay over here these are the some kind of of pdf which are keeping in our desktop folder that means uh, over here we can also check the where the uh, path of document where the document is lying that means if i select the this pdf and click on the open button first of all the document must be in pdf format only 
and size both we have to keep in mind that means the eight page of document okay if while uploading the document some kind of uh, wrong document has been selected we just simply click on the remove button that means the left hand window will clear out okay this is the a document which we receive just click on the generate button a do document has assigned a computer number also a pop up displayed a message over there success receipt number this this is the receipt number this is the creation year this is the section from which section the receipt is created these information are append by the receipt number if i um, want to browse the generated receipt how can i received just click on the receipt browse and diary will reflect the same option i just click on the created here we uh, if i check the information the sender name we have uh, had provided the ram kumar category subject category we had selected the general over there and this one is the our subject of the document which we had write down while creating the document this one is the created on on which date and time it will also append with the document remarks that means any kind of additional uh, document having the any kind of additional object which are also provided in the marks field this is our the pdf document and over there this is the receipt number this is the computer number both have a slight different computer number is this automatically computer number and receipt number while creating a document it will append by the computer number this one and this one both are the same initial initial only after that a creation year and the creation section also appended with the computer number is termed as the receipt number okay this is how can we create a document in e office now the respective action we can take over there if we want to click on this we just click on this option it will <coughs> populate the information which we provided while directing a document that means left hand side the pdf form of this scanned document and the right hand side these are the information which we had write down prior to generating the document okay this one is the dispatch history if we dispatch the uh, any kind of document respective to the receipt it will be displayed over there with the issue number attached or detached that means it will provide the detail the receipt is attached with another receipt or with another file by the subject of the file or attached by attached on attached remarks in the earlier version if we want to attach any kind of document or receipt in the file that means it will uh, directly attach to the receipt without the remarks but in the e file 7 version it's mandatory to provide the remarks while we are attaching or putting the receipt into the file as a correspondence or toc or detached by who is who detached the receipt from the file detached on detached remarks in both cases we are going to attached or detached into the file in both cases remarks are mandatory in uh, subject to the attaching or detaching closed that means if a receipt is generated and closed that means the close history will be displayed over there let's take example over there over here that means we want to close the uh, created receipt we just browse the option close 
the nomenclature over there is also simple in respect of the receipt first of all we just uh, measure the action scope respective of the receipt after that we will also perform the action respective of the file okay uh, now just click on the close button as i want to close over there we have just provided the remarks over there that means no further action required or just for information only there are certain document uh, which we diary the document or mark to the recipient after that recipient uh, after seeing or analyzing the document nature he can immediately take their respective action that means what are the necessary action have to be performed respect of the document or diary which he received recently okay if he analyze that this uh, the document or received uh, diary or doc, uh, receipt is only for just information that he will immediately take a look over there read the content of the receipt after that he will just take the action close after that he will click on the close just providing the remarks why the user want to close this particular receipt and click on the okay button that means the receipt which we had closed just dis uh, disappeared from our inbox list this is not the our inbox receipt uh, inbox list this is our the created list that means document which are lying on our created part that means we had to scan diary it but we didn't mark it to the particular recipient or mark to the any officer the, uh, all the list all the document are just displayed over the created part over if we want to check out the number of receipt in our inbox just click on the inbox part after that we have to click on the inbox that means there are what does it mean to to nub that means the number of receipt which are lying our inbox part on the unread state unread states that means the, there are number there are two number of receipt which are not seen by the recipient okay these are some different rest, rest of the receipt that means it's appear in the bold okay respect of the other that means if we want to just click on the receipt part it will read by the user read by the recipient that means the number of notification has been reduced while we clicked on the receipt if we will check over there only a one notification has been shown because only a one receipt is still in the unread status okay let keep it uh, because we uh, want to create uh, and uh, just we want to show how the inbox can be sorted depending upon the number of receipt okay this is the move to folder that means if i click on move to folder a new folder has been created just below the inbox part of my receipt section okay that means if i click on the send and send back send and send back both option are both options option functioning is same but respective of the one in the send box we have to search or browse the recipient detail with respect to the sent back if we click on the sent back that means the two fill the recipient information is pre filled that one is the basic difference between the send and sent back okay now uh, we want to reopen the close receipt after that we will discuss about each and every option underlying the receipt part 
first of all we just need to reopen the close receipt how to close a receipt and how to reopen a receipt both activity can be performed by using a particular receipt only now just click on the receipt part after that we have to select the option closed now closed with me that means it will list of the document which are closed by me or which are underlying the receipt in my closed section okay that one is the particular receipt we just recently closed it by putting our remarks over there and these are the action reopen if we want to reopen it we just click on the over the, over here as well select the receipt and select from the drop down list reopen the functioning of the reopen receipt in both way is same if we click on the select on the reopen receipt it will also redirect to the reopening remarks if i want to just click on this reopen receipt both functioning are the same okay we have just checked the option over there click on the reopen it will provide the reopening remarks and receipt will reopen if i click on this option select the checkbox list from and click on the reopen both window are same we just provide the reopening remarks why we uh, want to reopen the receipt just providing the remarks click on the okay button the receipt will reopen and disappeared from our close section now the selected receipt which we have recently reopened by providing the reopening remarks it will move to our inbox part of e receipt if we reopen the file it will directly remove our file inbox if we re reopen the receipt it will directly move to our inbox by taking the reopening remark okay that means this is the receipt part that means receipt in the previous state has been resolved okay the receipt which we closed from our created part and re reopen it from our close section that means the receipt is restored in a previous state previous state means the receipt from that state which we close that particular receipt also has been underlined over the same position prior to closing we got it uh, that means if we providing the remarks of reopening the receipt will be restored in the created part not in our inbox part but in the previous version if we want to reopen the receipt from the closed part after reopening the receipt it will directly jump to our inbox rather than the seven version if in the seven version we just want to reopen or close the receipt the receipt will be restored in the previous state this one is the basic difference in the six version or seven version in the six version if we reopen the receipt or file after reopening the particular receipt or file it will directly jump to our inbox part but in the seven version if we create a reopen receipt or file uh, that means before closing the receipt or file uh, prior to closing the receipt or file that means that particular uh, that particular state or folder so we after that we uh, provide the closing remarks it will jump to the closing close section closed by me or closed with me and browse the option closed with me after that we provide the re 
reopening remarks that means the, the receipt or file will directly restored on our previous section previous state previous folder through which we close the particular receipt or file now this one is the receipt if i want to put the receipt in a file okay we will discuss about later uh, later about how to put a file uh, how to receive put a receipt in a file there are two ways through which we can put the receipt into a file first one is we just click on the receipt part after that we have to select the option put in a file this one is the first option and another one option i will tell you there is uh, is mandatory to provide the remarks while we are putting the receipt in a file and another one option just go on the file in which we want to attach the receipt or that uh, first of all we need just need to open the file after that here is a option called the attach receipt just click on the attach receipt and here the list of all the detail of our receipt part is also displayed over there Let's take a look over there. That means the receipt which are underlying in our inbox part, and the receipt that we have recently created, it underlying in our created document. That means it will be combination of the inbox as well as the created part of our receipt, through which we have to select the particular receipt which when we want to put in a file as a POC. Okay, just click uh, select the receipt. After that, provide need to put in a file. Need to put in a file for the further approval. Click on the attach button. Just prior to this, please uh, uh, note down the computer number so that we can easily browse where the receipt and the. This is the our receipt. Uh, one of the major difference that means uh, in this uh, earlier version six version we have uh, we can only select only one receipt at a time, okay. putting in a file. But over there there is a multiple option we can select at a time over there. Number of receipts, three uh, receipts has been selected. In the number of four and three. Okay, that means we can uh, select up to ten receipts at a single shot while we are putting the receipts in a file. But in the previous version, we select only the one document at a particular time. This one is the difference. That means it is really a effort cutting. Technology or effort cutting feature, which we uh, enabled in the seven button. After the selecting the document, click on the attach button. That means the selected receipt. That means uh, testing about the diary of the document has been vanished from our receipt inbox part and attached into the particular or targeted file which we had selected. That. This file number A two triple zero seven one. That one is this one is our targeting file in which we had put the selected receipt over there. This is the num uh, receipt which had selected uh, selected as a POC. Okay, this one is the number of pages over there. Eight to fifteen. 